Okay, in this video, we're going to talk you through how to do a uh, object with a counterbore in OnShape. So I already have my OnShape opened up here. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. So there's a new document. We'll just call this uh, Cbore. Hit OK. And once the uh, drawing space opens up, we'll go ahead and grab the sketch tool. And I'll go right ahead and grab the front view. And I'm going to go ahead and profile uh, the front of this object. And then I'll extrude it uh, the depth of three. So way I'm going to go ahead and do this is just go ahead and draw in a line. Uh, and I'm getting really used to actually now drawing lines uh, and then dimensioning afterwards um, because it just seems like it seems to be far faster uh, to do it that way. So uh, I'm going to keep going here and uh, keep sketching in some lines. And really now this is where I need to start adding some information into this. Uh, I need this to actually be a specific distance because I want to set the radius for this outside arc at this point in time because the center mark of this front face is in relation to this outside arc. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up at 1 and 5 eighths. So to do this, I type in uh, 1, uh, hold down shift, and hit the plus symbol, and then type in 5 forward slash 8. So 1 and 5 eighths, there it is. Then I can go ahead and grab my circle tool, and I can just pull out uh, to this point because this is the radius that I'm drawing. That's going to create the arc for the top of my uh, drawing. Now what I can do is go ahead and set up the height, uh, which is three. So I position this into three and I can go ahead and just draw a line in here and just continue to sketch this out. Uh, and I can be actually fairly, I don't wanna say rough with the sketching because I know this is gonna go tangent. So I'm gonna grab my constraint tools here, grab my tangent tool, grab the line, grab the circle and it jumps into position. Then I just need to know that I need to position the thickness of this part here. So this is going to be uh, uh, 1.125, or I could have typed in 1 plus uh, 1 eighth, but I know that conversion. So it jumps into position. So there's pretty much the rough outline of my part. Uh, I can go ahead in here and start trimming some things up. Uh, I can actually trim this out of there too. I don't need that anymore. And now I should be able to go ahead and start my extrusion process. So if I want to take a look at this now on a little bit of an angle, go ahead and type in three for the extrusion depth. So there's the rough shape of my part. Uh, I'm now ready to start to set up the counterboard. Okay, now, uh, similar to Inventor, uh, there is a hole tool, yet the hole tool does require, at least what I'm finding, it does require some sketch geometry. Um, Inventor, you could give it some side points, but for this, you just grab a sketch, drop it on the face, we're gonna put a counterbore, and you can either draw lines or you can use this point tool. Uh, this point tool works pretty good. I'm just going to drop that in the middle of my face here. Uh, don't get confused with that origin. I should have positioned this better, but this will work. Um, grab my dimension tool, grab the point, come over to here and pull forward. And look at the dimension here. It's saying it's one and a half. So I'm just going to type in 1.5 for one and a half. It jumps into position. Uh, and then, of course, the whole depth is three. So I'll go from the side to the point and pull forward and again one and a half that's finished i have a point for positioning so i grab the whole tool and i'm going to grab that point right away and now oh you can even see i've gone through this counter board before but what generally pops up is this simple hole okay so what you have to do is pull down uh this selection uh button here at the top and select counter board once you select counter board that's when you start to feed information into uh, the counterbore tool. So you look at this and say that the uh, one and a half inch diameter, well, that's going to be the through hole. So look to see which one of these icons is our through hole and it's the top. So there's your 1.5. Then I come down here and I'm looking for the counterbore diameter. That's your C bore, which is two. So I put that two into the position. Then we're looking for the depth. Well, here's deep. So it's a half inch deep. So that sets this up as your half inch depth. And then this is the through hole. How far does this go through? Well, you can see that it goes all the way through the part. Okay, so what we can do here is uh, 1.125, that's one and an eighth, and that sets up the counterbore. So there's that counterbore. Now we need to set this counterbore up. So I'll go ahead and grab my sketch tool, drop it onto the face, grab my uh, point tool, and now I'm hoping that uh, what's gonna happen is it's gonna find center. Well, there it is, that's my center. So I drop the point on the center, finish the sketch, grab the whole tool, grab the point, Hopefully, yep, there it is, finds that counterbore. Uh, and then I can go ahead and uh, set this up. Now the depth on this is gonna have to be different. 
full depth is going to be three inches. It's going through the entire part. All right, so there's our counterbore feature and a pretty simple part, uh, but the counterbore feature uh, is uh, fairly easy to navigate once you know these little pull downs are here. <laughs> you got to know these pull downs exist uh, in order to make this thing function. So hopefully this helps you get through that counterbore drawing and uh, get it laid out.